Good morning, YouTubers. I am going to show you how to digitise your cassette tapes. I've been wanting to do this for a long time and I found a little machine in a catalogue of Big W and I went in there and they'd all sold out within a day of the catalogue coming out. Now I've tried this with an older tape recorder with the cable that I bought and it didn't work. The sound just came out of the tape recorder, it didn't come out of my speakers. I am now using this tape recorder that you can see in the pick. You pop your tape in there. This is the cable that I bought. It's got two sound uh, plugs and one that goes into your laptop or your desktop machine. The two pins on the left, the uh, red or black audio, either one can go into wherever the plug is for your headphones on your tape recorder. On the right is the plug that goes into your computer. That plug goes into the computer microphone port. On the left you see the one um, from the tape recorder to the computer and on the right are my speakers. And here's the uh, pin that goes into the headphones socket. It wasn't called a port in those days. Here's a little overall picture to help you uh, get the overall picture. How amazing. I always did know what to say at the right moment. There's my tape recorder. These are my speakers. And two little baby ones. Speakers. And here's my laptop. laptop. Here's what the cable looks like. It's got two audio pins and they are connected to the end that goes into the laptop. My speakers are already plugged in so these this is the cable from my laptop to my speakers and they've of course got two little baby ones coming out from the speaker itself. Choo. My tape recorder, the audio plug goes into the home phone socket. That goes all the way, the red or the black, doesn't matter. As long as it's the audio one and it pops into here, into the microphone port on my laptop. Now we come to the part where we digitise the tape. I'm using Audacity to convert the tapes into WAV files and MP3s. Uh, plus, rather than just converting, I'm also keeping the project file so I have a master copy and that would be save project or save project as. Uh, the settings I have here are for my laptop sound system and it will most likely look different on yours very likely. I can't help you with that but online you'll find plenty of tutorials specifically for Audacity. A few things, once the audio jack is plugged into your tape recorder you won't hear any sound from the recorder or your speakers until you start recording in Audacity. You push that button there and automatically a track will come up. So rather than record and work out where to start and waste a recording, pull the audio jack out of the tape recorder and work out where to start. Then plug it back in and do a couple of test recordings to see how it sounds. First of all I push record, then I push the play button on my tape recorder and you can erase all that bit at the front. It's got quite good sound there, a little bit of clipping, yeah. So what I need to do is turn down the volume on the tape recorder. This is me playing the piano in the 1970s, would you believe? Goodness me. Okay, I'll stop that and then I stop the recorder. So when I play this back, it's not going to sound all that great. Just at the beginning there. Now I'm turning down the volume here. I'm about to do the next verse, so what I'll do is, is just erase all this bit here. Let's just check. That's okay. This is just a test anyway for the sake of this video. What I will do, do now is file, save project and just save it. Oh, I'm going to just put test for vid and it will save as a .aup file. And then when you've done this and you like what you've got, you can go to File, 
export and then export as a WAV file or you can do it as an MP3.